Welcome to race week. It's finally here. Six days out from the race. It is Monday morning. It is a rest day for me today. Just kind of chilling, doing a little rolling, uploading the video. Gonna grab my boxes to get those down before I start work today. And I got an early morning ART chiropractic appointment for my legs and my back. I've been having some adductor uh, tenderness. Uh, the adductors that kind of attach to the butt bone, kind of uncomfortable when you're running. Gonna get that worked on. Then this afternoon, something exciting, VeloFix. The guys who brought and assembled my canyon back a year and a half ago or so, they reached out to me recently about working with me. They saw my video, some of my social media. VeloFix is a mobile bike mechanic company. They come out to you, you schedule it when you want, in your house, at your work, wherever. They come out and work on your bike. Oh, what is she thinking? So they are coming out today to get my bike all tuned up ready to go. I actually bought race tires. So I'm gonna put those on instead of racing with gaiters. Tony, Jim, talking about free watts. Gaiters are very, very slow. So got some Vittoria tires, but now I'm gonna pull down the bins, start to look through them, figure out if there's anything I need, need to order that kind of stuff. Before I head off to get worked on, then work, then fellow fix. I think that's it for the day. I don't, I don't think there's really, oh, the podcast. The podcast tonight, Joby. Joby's coming on the podcast. Joby is the founder coach at FC Endurance. He is a Kona qualifier, just super, super fast. And he is a local coach here. He's coming on the podcast tonight with Austin and Tony and I. So that's at seven. And I think that's it for race week day one. Last year's kit. Haven't seen you since December. Didn't get too much done, but I gotta run out. No. Drink water. Still been focused on drinking lots of water, so take a couple seconds and drink some water. I'm making a bunch of faces. Oh my god. That didn't work. Where's my story? Uh, I mean, it's a little tender right there. Mm -hmm. It's just funny because it's something that I've never had pain before. Let's we'll see how easy the adjustment looks <laughs> compared to the air. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're free. Wonderful. While that looks terrible and it feels terrible, it's amazing at how much better I feel after uh, he works on me. Well, VeloFix is here and Richard is the man. He is the same guy who built my bike. He is such a great bike mechanic. If you are in Orange County or the local area, he is your guy. He will come out to your house, fix up your bike. And VeloFix is worldwide. So anyone who's watching this can go on to VeloFix.com, put in your info, and you can actually make an appointment and they will come right out, service your bike at work, at the office or at home. It's great, you pick your time, it works so well. And I have a discount code. If you use the code CJ, C-J-A-Y-E, you will get 20% off your bike service 
and off their retail website. So C-J-A-Y-E, you can call up VeloFix, you can go on their website, velofix.com. I highly recommend it. I had actually scheduled my appointment with VeloFix like two weeks ago for today, right before the race. And last week, they just happened to reach out and say, hey, we'd love to offer a discount code to your followers. How awesome is that? Look at that, race ready. This is Richard, he is the man. How you doing? The lighting is terrible right there. <laughs> I can't see you, it's just no. a silhouette. There we go. <laughs> well, Richard is done with the bike. He completely disassembled it, cleaned out all of the bearings, the uh, chain, the, took all of the components apart, checked all of the screws, re-greased everything. It is in race condition, it is fast again. Thank you so much, Velofix. These guys are awesome. Like I said, I highly recommend checking them out and use the discount code C-J-A-Y-E. Work is done. Now it's time to take Emmeline to volleyball practice. You spent all day at volleyball camp. Yeah. Now you're headed to volleyball practice. Are you tired of volleyball yet? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> It has been a busy day and I am just now getting to starting to pack and go through my to-do list. I've talked about this in past race week videos. I live and die by the to-do list. I created this list and I just use it over and over and over and I use the Microsoft to-do app. And as I add things for races, I never completely remove things. Even if it's something that I don't use at this race, I just check it off so that it'll be there next time. And I always just duplicate the list, uncheck everything and start over. You know, everything from anti-fog, body glide, gear bag, goggles times two, you don't want to have one break. Skin suit, you never know, the water could be too warm. Squirrel nut butter for chafing. Sunscreen, swim cap. I go through the list, it's sorted by swim, bike, run, nutrition, clothing, and then electronics. So each item is part of its own little sub list. I can go through, check it all off, make sure I have everything. I don't ever really feel like, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting something. So tip, if you're a first time racer or going to a race, do yourself a favor, make a to-do list, whether it's an Excel sheet or an app, I'm sure there's plenty of to-do list apps, but start one and build it. And over time, you'll refine it and you'll add things. Like if it's a really cold race, I'll bring things that I wouldn't bring to uh, this race, which is gonna be really warm. But I don't ever actually delete them from the list. I just check them off like I packed them, but they're always there so I can future reference when I duplicate the list again. But it is now almost 6.45. That means I've got 15 minutes until the podcast begins. So I gotta jump on there and packing is gonna have to wait until tomorrow. Welcome to the OC Endurance Podcast. My name is Chris Elmore and I am your co-host along with Tony and Austin. And guys, it's a special week. It's a double digit week and I'm not talking about listeners. All right, well that was an awesome show with Joby, but it is late. I need to go see if my daughter is in bed because Christina is out at a school meeting for sixth grader committee. And I think Emmeline is not in bed yet. It's 9.03. Hello. Hi, Mabel. You are in bed. Look at you. Give you credit. I was thinking you'd be up watching TV. Mabel, are you gonna calm down and go to bed? You'd be good. Time to go to bed, okay? You're breathing really hard. All right, well, I love you. So 
So I have to give a huge shout out to Anthony Danilo. I think that's the way you say it. Hopefully, Anthony, thank you so much. On one of my previous videos, I had talked about using the ASIC Super Blast for the race. I had no idea they were prohibited by Iron Man. So Anthony left a comment on one of my videos and uh, I must say thank you to all of you who leave comments and the interaction. I love it. So apparently I will not be racing in the Super Blast. Unfortunately, last Tuesday, I ordered the Nike Alpha Flies. Wednesday, the label was created, shipping label, and it has sat waiting for the carrier to pick up. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today is Tuesday. Last night I was messaging with them and they said, well, originally it was scheduled to be delivered on the 18th, which is today, but uh, we can't tell what happened to the shoes, whether they're still sitting in the warehouse or whether they got the tracking number changed or they're on the FedEx truck, no idea. But I may end up needing to just go to Snail's Pace and get a new pair of shoes because I haven't had new shoes since getting the Super Blast, which I got since having surgery since last December when I raced last year. Wanna go for a walk, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna get this dog out for a quick walk before it gets too hot. And then I've got a one hour bike and a 20 minute run off the bike, then work and packing. Thank God for good neighbors. <laughs> Just got up the street a ways and uh, forgot to get dog poop bags and Maple left a nice big one right up the street here. So thankfully <laughs> my good friend, Tim lives right here. <laughs> yep, this is for you. This is your fault. This is for you. Hopping on the bike and knocking out what I believe is probably my last bike session before heading out on Thursday. It is Tuesday, heading out Thursday morning around five in the morning and going to drive about 12 hours up to Ashland, Oregon and spend the night there. A little bit further than I drove last year. And that way on Friday, sleep in a little bit, don't have to get up super early to be there before registration starts. While I was out on my walk with Maple, I was texting with Synergy and they wanna do some giveaways this week to those who are watching these videos. So when I'm all done with this workout, we'll talk about what we're giving away and how you can enter. Progress is being made this morning on the packing for the race. I have got all of my swim meter together, all of my cycling stuff together. A few things left on the run, gotta decide on shoes. And uh, most of my nutrition is together. Still need some coffee. Because I'm driving to this race, I'm able to kind of overpack, take things I wouldn't take if I were on an airplane, like when I go to Finland. And so when I do travel to races and I drive, I bring all my coffee stuff so that I can make pour over coffee in the morning for race morning. Because a lot of times race morning, it's hard to get coffee. And I also get up at 4, 4.30 in the morning and most hotels don't have coffee ready at that point. But when I was on the bike, I mentioned a giveaway from Synergy. We are gonna be doing a few of them with these race week videos. The very first one, which kind of applies to packing up, we are giving away a Synergy Transition Bag backpack. It's a $150 value. Now I have the first version of that bag. It has, it was blue and black. The new one is black and gray and has some uh, lime green highlights. It is really sweet. I love those colors. This bag has been great for racing. It has a top pouch for goggles and things like that. It has a bottom pouch for shoes or your wetsuit. It's been a great bag. I've had this bag for a couple of years. So if you want this bag, what you need to do is go down into the comments and leave a comment with what do you bring into transition? What's in your transition bag? And this one, because it's a bigger item and shipping is expensive, we're gonna keep this one to the continental US. So sorry about that for the international folks. We'll work on something for you in upcoming videos. Go down to the comments. Let me know what you carry in your transition bag. And in the next video, I will pick a winner and Synergy will ship you out that $150 bag. 
Well, I am done with work and uh, packing is continuing. I'm on to my clothes at this point, doing some laundry, things like that. But shortly I am headed out to my daughter's soccer practice. We got a couple hours on the field tonight. So I'm gonna end this video now because uh, I wanna get it out before I leave. But just thank you all for all the comments, all the support. The subscriptions have been going up. It's been really cool. I think publishing a lot of videos, more of you are seeing them, more of you are subscribing. So I greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate the comments. Again, thank you, Anthony, for telling me about the shoes. And don't forget, drop down to the comments right now. Leave a comment about what you carry in your transition bag. I will see all of you in the next episode of Race Week. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps. Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah. Kind of love you, want to build your dreams on, yeah. But I already know better. I'm a go-getter and I got me. I'm good. I made over shoes and hardwood. For me, you know I wrote the book. I'm moving along from somebody wrong. I